Six minutes. Well, no problem. We uh, planted a church in six days. That's right. God made the whole earth. and oh, uh, So we're okay. You know, um, this organization is in the middle of a transition. It's a middle of a transition from the last 40 years to the next 40 years. We're looking forward to the next 40 years. Uh, you know, if you look in the uh, book of Elisha, when Elisha handed over the reins to Elisha, there was something recognizable that was recognized by the sons of the prophets. And you know, this is an organization that has something very unique about it. I mean, God is working all over the earth, but there's something unique about Victory Churches. And you know, it's a special kind of a style that we have. It's a spirit that we have. And you know, when I came into this organization, it immediately gripped me. And it's not something that grips everyone. Uh, there is, uh, I think, a faith in people, and God sees them. You know, when Elisha was in the cave, uh, he was whining about the next generation. Well, he was whining about the present generation. But he was just whining. And you know what? God said, I'm going to take you, and I'm going to show you the next generation. And that's what he did. And he found somebody with a kindred spirit. And you know, in victory, when I stepped into victory, you know, th there was something about the spirit of victory that was recognizable to my spirit. And when Dr. Hazel got up one Sunday morning and said, we're going to start a bus ministry, that was speaking right to me. It, you know, victory has a can-do kind of spirit, doesn't it? It really does. And, you know, my spirit recognized that right away. And I really believe that that is the same spirit that is kind of drawing people in, uh, has drawn people in for the last 40 years. It's going to draw people in for the next 40 years. We want can-do kind of people. They're going to do stuff. So it's a recognizable, you know, the second thing about Victory Spirit and the Victory Organization, it's transferable. It's transferable. It's something that can be transferred. You know, when I got the prophetic word that came to me for a bus ministry, it didn't just start as a, uh, uh, it started out as a bus ministry, but it didn't just stop there. I began to build that ministry on the foundation of the apostle, Dr. George. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew, and it went from a bus ministry to $10 million in uh, facilities to help the homeless self serving over 200,000 meals a year, uh, 80 rooms for the homeless, and just goes on and on. And you know what? It's not going to stop there. Amen. It's going to go on and on. Uh, but what we need to have in our organization is we need to have that next generation set in place so that we can take on the next 40 years and do double what we've done in the first 40 years. How many of you know Elisha? He did double that of Elijah. And you know, we are not an organization that is anchored in religion. We're an organization that's first generational. And there is a springboard to be had for the next generation. And you know, it really bugs me when I hear people put down the next generation, you know, how they say they're this, they're that, they're this. I'll tell you what, I haven't seen that at all. The Spirit of God that we're talking about that makes victory recognizable, that generation recognizes that as much as we recognized it. Because it's not a natural thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. And the Holy Spirit is not giving up on this earth. He's still working on this earth. He's working on this earth just as much. As a matter of fact, you look back, I mean, Elisha was whining the same old story that we hear today. That was Elijah, but you know what? God brought him to Elijah. And so you know what? This, uh, this is an organization that has something that's uh, recognizable, it's transferable, and it's expandable. We can expand this because we are not fettered by uh, so much of uh, the other things that do in other religions and other organizations. We have an organization that's on the cutting edge. It has a can-do kind of spirit. And you know, I'm excited about what's going to happen in the future. More than ever. Why wouldn't I be? Look what's happened in the last 40 years. I mean, this is something to be excited about. 
Uh, and we're in contact with the first generation, so we know exactly what they did. And we have a promise. Next generation, we have a promise to do double. And we've got to claim it. We've got to believe it. And you know, when that says a, a, a double, you know, it's talking about an anointing for individuals as well. I'm not just talking about what we do uh, uh, as far as buildings and people and reaching. And I, I'm talking about you need to own that anointing for yourself, a double anointing. I mean, uh, what got me about Elisha? He was just as ambitious after hanging out for eight years with Elijah as he was when he began. He was ambitious. You know, I, what I love about my team in, 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 in Calgary, the ambition. I thought, you know, when they first start out in the street ministry, you know, a few years ago, they thought, oh man, that's going to wane. But they're just as ambitious. If not, if they're even more ambitious. That is a victory spirit. It's a victory spirit because the more you get into the things of God, the more you want the things of God. The more potential you see. Amen. I'm done.